For the past few years, this parking lot here at Jarvis and Dundas has been the site of a proposed new huge addition to Toronto Metropolitan University, one that would have seen several stories of classrooms and student residences built here. However, in recent months, the housing aspects of this plan have been dropped. But at a time when affordability and supply are key, we're looking into why that's the case. This is the embodiment of what we call lazy land. This is a university-owned surface parking lot in the middle of downtown Toronto. We have a housing crisis. Mark Richardson at the advocacy group Housing Now TO surveying this Jarvis Street parking lot, showing off what could have been. Since late 2018, Toronto Metropolitan University has been going through rezoning, clearing the way for a 45-story tower, 13 floors of labs, research spaces, classrooms, and offices, along with 29 floors with room to house around 570 students. In the last two months, all of a sudden, uh, Toronto Metropolitan has decided that they're going to have to remove the student residence. A move that has advocates like Richardson scratching their heads. If you do not build those student housing uh, units here, those students don't disappear. Those students end up competing for rents in these other towers that are going up around us here. They, uh, they put a lot of additional pressure on the market and they drive up rents. We thought this was a really great opportunity to help bring um, more uh, young people into the area, more faces into the area really help revitalize. Area Councilor Robin Buxton Potts and her staff say housing is a top priority for the Toronto Centre riding, adding 70% of the calls they deal with are housing related. She also says there isn't enough being done to create homes for post-secondary students. So we often hear people that are like, wait, I think it's a little bit too high and this is the first time in my uh, you know, four years at city council where, where I'm really hearing some people say, holy smokes, why aren't we building taller? Why aren't we building more dumb? City News contacted TMU multiple times on Wednesday and Thursday to ask for an on-camera interview to discuss the project. Those requests were declined. Instead, a brief statement saying they've changed their application due to the soaring construction costs and the finding that residence spaces could be created cheaper elsewhere. We asked for cost specifics and the other locations being considered but we didn't hear back by our deadline. Meanwhile, pleas for reconsideration of the decision and a push to find a way forward at the Jarvis site. The city can't compel them to, to build more housing, but I really do hope that uh, the university takes this opportunity and hear some of the feedback. Pause and to take a deep breath. You only get one opportunity to do this right, and if you screw it up, you screw up a once-in-a-generation opportunity. For more on this story, head to citynews.ca. In Toronto, Nick Westall, City News.